guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to share with you my roast chicken with a creamy mustard sauce. It's so good. Um, you can roast a whole chicken and serve it with the sauce, and you could do, or you can even do it with turkey, to be honest with you, and that would be a really great um, alternative to a classic roast dinner or whatever for you, that you want to make for your holiday season. But I chose leg quarters today, which is the thigh and the drumstick, because I chose two of those, which can feed four people really nicely, because I feel like if you're living in a small apartment or a smaller home, or you don't have a lot to work with, but you want to make a fantastic meal for the holiday season for you and your loved ones, this is a great one because it makes a wonderful sauce in the same pan this roast in. So there's minimal cleanup, not a lot of stuff going on. It's really simple and easy, but trust me when I tell you, it is absolutely delicious. Now, what I've gotten, my oven is preheated to 425. I've got my leg quarters in a cast iron pan. There's nothing at the bottom. There's a little grease at the bottom because I always like to keep it nice and greased. And I just put a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of oil in there, but not, but not much, maybe a half a teaspoon. And then all I'm going to do, because the mustard, the mustard sauce is really what's going to kind of carry this through really nicely and just give you a really wonderful flavor, I want to keep the chicken itself really simple. I want to keep it juicy. I want that skin to be crispy. That way it's the beautiful showstopper of that golden crispy succulent chicken and that luscious mustard sauce that I think you're really going to love. And now I'm going to do is season these really well with some salt and pepper. Well, lots of salt and lots of pepper. You want to season these well because it's the only chance you have to really crisp, you know, season that skin well before it crisps up. This is going to go into the oven. Depending on how big your pieces of chicken are, it's going to vary on the time it takes to, to roast. I'm going to say these are probably going to take about 45 minutes. I want the internal temperature of the thickest part to be about 165. Once it's there, I'm going to let these rest a little bit and then we're going to make the sauce in the same pan. So you see, no muss, no fuss. Easy peasy, you're gonna love it, I promise. I'm gonna pop these in. A pan weighs more than me. My chicken was in the oven for 45 minutes. Now I've taken it out of the pan, and I wanna show you, I'm just grabbing a little of my peen here. There's a lot of fat that rendered out. Do you see that? I don't want that. I want a little bit of it, but I certainly don't want all of that. Maybe in total, I want about a tablespoon of grease whether it's the fat or oil, but in this case, I want to keep, you see, all in here, this is all oh, such good flavor, and I want that. So to make my sauce, I'm going to add some chopped scallions, this is just a diced scallion. You're also going to need some chicken stock, heavy cream, whole grain mustard, a little white wine, chives, salt, and pepper. That is it. And all together make for a really, really delicious, delicious sauce. Now, if you can see, as I'm sautéing these, I'm lifting all that flavor that was stuck in the bottom of the pan. That to me, I mean, it's free. Why not use it? It's so good. So I'm just going to sauté these until they soften quite a bit. It should take about three minutes or so. I just added my white wine. I want this to reduce for about a minute. And also, as you can see, these are shallots, not scallions, but it's a Lara-ism, you know? I say whatever comes to mind, and you know, they're in the onion family. Kind of this, very similar. In fact, if you wanted to use scallions instead of shallots, and hey, you know what? Why name two things with an S? Scallions and shallots, right? I mean, pick one. You can't have them both. It's confusing. I want this to just reduce a little bit more. That's actually where, I guess, about where I want it. I'm going to add my stock, really good quality stock, and I'm just gonna let this reduce by half going to take three to four minutes, so keep an eye on it. Let it go. Keep stirring, lifting all those bits off the bottom of the skillet, and we are that much closer to finishing up our sauce for the chicken. Looks awesome. Add the cream along with your grainy mustard. I love the mustard running all the way through. Peppa, you need some salt. And then I'm going to whisk this all in. Turn this down. And then whisk this in to get it all combined. And then let it bubble away for just a couple minutes, just so that everything kind of comes together. And it's really lovely and luscious. And you can smell the mustard. Oh, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. And it might not look like it's anything super fancy, and it's not. 
but it is so good, you have to trust me. So let this go for just like a minute or two. Just turn that off, add my chives, give those a stir. Oh, it just looks so good, and that mustard is like slapping me across the face. It's a good slap, a slap I don't mind. And then what I would suggest would be to serve the mustard alongside the chicken so it doesn't um, it, it doesn't make the skin go soggy but for today I'm just going to pour this on one of the pieces of chicken so that you can see what I want you to see is this all the different textures with the shallot I mean, it is looking phenomenal it's super juicy it's this is not pink it's just because of the color of the skin get that sauce on there It's so good. It's so good. If you like mustard, you like a honey mustard or anything like that, you're gonna love this. It's simple, it's delicious, it's got a really nice elegant feeling to it. You'll love it. It's really great for um, entertaining because as you could see, it takes no time at all and there's minimal cleanup. Get this recipe at LaraInTheKitchen.com. Hope you enjoy spending time with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.